It was a disturbing case that left many in shock. Today, a judge in Christiansburg sentenced the man who murdered and sexually abused his girlfriend's toddler. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther was inside the courtroom as the family of little Stephen Meek spoke for the first time. It was inside this courthouse today that a convicted murderer and child abuser learned his fate. Mackenzie Hellman will spend two life sentences plus 90 years behind bars per a judge's order. Even as the victim's family, a two-year-old baby boy, gave very emotional testimony today, Mackenzie Hellman still seemed very despondent, just as despondent as he was during his jury trial. Can you please answer me? I can't, we can't record a nod. Nope. You know of any reason why judgment should not now be pronounced against you? No. Those who did care for two-year-old Stephen Meek II's life were in the courtroom Tuesday. He loved, uh, he loved me. He loved his grandma. He loved his father. He loved his other grandma. He loved his aunts, uncles, cousins. Together, they shifted the focus from the terrible things Hellman put him through to the beautiful baby boy he was. Mickey Mouse was his favorite cartoon. I can't even bring myself to watch Mickey Mouse. I'd do anything to have him back. I really would. That picture right there, that's the one that I'm missing bad, Your Honor. Hellman pled guilty to murder and child abuse. He was also convicted for the unthinkable sexual abuse he and his ex-girlfriend subjected the young boy to. She also happens to be the little boy's mother. I hope that you get the punishment that you deserve and suffer just like we have the loss of this baby boy. While today may feel like the final chapter in that baby boy's life, he lives on, I know that for sure, in the hearts of his loved ones. In Montgomery County, I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.